Okay, so today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to share like candies um, or muffins and different objects between lots of different people. So let me show you because it's easier to show you than try to tell you about it. So what I have are some plates and some peanut M&Ms, which are my favorite. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out 10 M&Ms and put them on the table. I want you to count with me, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I took out my 10 candies. Now I want to share them with five children. So I'm gonna put out some plates. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so here are my five plates, one for each child. Now. When I share things with people, I want to make sure that every child gets the same. Because if the child with the green plate gets more, that's not really going to be fair, is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one candy on each plate so that it's fair for all the children. So I'm going to put one candy here. And then I'm going to put one candy on the blue plate. And one candy on the yellow plate and one candy on the red plate, and one candy on the pink plate. Now, all of the children have one candy. I still have some left, so I'm gonna see if I have enough to give everybody one more candy, because I can't just give the green plate one more, because then these four children are gonna say, that's not fair, he has two and we only have one. So I need to give everybody the same. So, if I give him one, I need to give blue, and I need to give yellow one, and I need to give one to red, and I need to give one to pink. So now, when I look at my plates, every child gets two candies. So I share 10 candies with five children, and everybody gets two. All right, I'm gonna put these candies back down on the table. All right, I have my 10 candies this time though. I don't have five kids with me. I only have one, two, three. So now I'm gonna give these candies to these three children and it needs to be fair. So everybody needs the same. All right, so I'm gonna give one to the green, one to blue, one to yellow. I still have more so I think I can give everybody another one. I'm gonna give one more to green, one more to blue, one more to yellow. Mm. I think I might have enough. Let me try it one more time. Everybody needs the same. So I give one to green, one to blue, one to orange. Yay! Now everybody has one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But I still have one candy left. Who do I give that one to? Should I give it to green? Well, if I do, then green has four and the others have three, so that really wouldn't be fair. But if, but if I gave it to blue, then he would have more. And if I give it to yellow, then she would have more. So if you end up with an extra, you just leave it. You just have to leave it because it needs to be fair. So if I have 10 candies and three children, how many candies does each child get? One, two, three. They each get three. So now, I'm gonna put out, I have my 10 candies, and I take away two. Now I have two, four, six, eight. So I'm gonna share eight candies with four children. So that means everybody needs the same. So if we were at school, I would totally have you come and help me and put the candies out, but you can't be there. So you just have to watch me and pretend like you're right here doing it with me. Okay, one, 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 and one. Okay, I have more. Let's see if I have enough to give everybody another one. So one, 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 and one. Hey, 
I used them all. All eight are gone. So that means with eight candies, and I share them with four children, everybody gets two candies. All right, let's try it one more time. This time, though, let's do all five children. All five children are there, and I'm going to share these eight candies. So here we go. One, 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 one. Okay, now I still have some left. Let's see if I can share them. One, one, one. Hmm. They didn't get any. So can I leave it like that? No. Because, because is that fair? No. Because red and, and green and blue have two candies each and, and, and yellow and pink are going, but we only have one. So, no. Can't do that. I can't share eight candies with five kids and everybody has two. If I have eight candies and five kids, everybody only gets one. And maybe these three, or the teacher, maybe the teacher gets to oh, eat those ones. Or they just go back in the bay. Because it wouldn't be fair to give three kids two and the other kids only get one. So that's our math lesson. It's super easy. I am going to show you how we do this on paper so that you know how to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pick these up and put these away. And I'm gonna put away my plates. I'm gonna grab you guys and bring you over here so you can see the whiteboard. All right, so now, yesterday I baked blueberry muffins. They were so yummy. So let's say I made six muffins. Half dozen, right? Half dozen is six. Now, drawing the muffins a little tricky, so I'm just gonna make six M's. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I made them for breakfast, and Mr. Birch and I ate some. So if I made six muffins, here is my plate. Because I don't want to make a mess, so I'm going to put my muffin on a plate. Mr. Barch also had some, so here's his plate. Now, we're going to share these muffins just like I shared those candies on these plates. Except I just drew my plate, so here's what we're going to do. We need it to be fair, because if Mr. Barch gets more muffins than me, I'm going to be mad. And a little sad. And if I get more muffins than him, well, I'll be happy, but then he'll be sad. So we need it to be fair. And if we have any extra, then they stay there. But let's see, let's start sharing them. So I'm gonna give myself a muffin. So I get a muffin and then I'm gonna cross this one off because I used it, it's on my plate. Now I'm gonna give Mr. Birch a muffin. And I use that one so I have to cross it off. One muffin, two muffins. Okay, now it's my turn again because I still have more muffins. See, I haven't crossed off. I haven't shared them yet. So I'm going to give the next muffin to me because it's my turn. And the next muffin goes to Mr. Barch. Cross it off. You always have to remember to cross it off. Otherwise, you're going to keep giving muffins and then you're going to end up with the wrong answer. So you always have to remember to cross it off. I still have some muffins left, so I think I can do it again. So I'm gonna get another muffin, and Mr. Barch gets one. So I made six muffins, a half dozen muffins, and when Mr. Barch and I share them between the two of us, how many muffins do we both get? We both get one, two, three, one, two, three. We both get three, so it is fair. 
So when Mr. Barch and I share six muffins, we each get three. All right, my dears, what I want you to do now is I want you to take your math paper. So it's lesson 109. And I want you to turn down here and look at number four. So I'm actually gonna scoot you closer here so that you can see better. All right, I want you to be down here looking at number four. It says Mark has six smiley face stickers. There they are. Show how he will share the stickers equally with his friend Renee. So here's Mark, here's Renee. They're not sharing food. So they don't have circle plates, but they have boxes to share the stickers. It says he has six smiley face stickers. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm in this space right here. I'm gonna draw six stickers. Now I'm not gonna make the smiley face on them. If you want to, you can. I'm just gonna make the six circle stickers. I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I want you on your paper right now to make six stickers in between their names right here. I'll give you time to do that. You can always go back and put the smiling faces on later because I want you to do this with me. Okay, so you should have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, it matches. Now we need to share them. So first, we're gonna give one sticker to Mark. So in Mark's box, I need you to draw one smiley face sticker. And then cross off the one you just drew. Now if Mark gets one, then to share them equally, to be fair, Renee needs one. So we need to give the next one to Renee. And then cross it off. Now we still have more stickers to share. So the next one's gonna go back to Mark. So give Mark a smiley face sticker and cross it off. He's so nice to share with his friend. So now she can have some too. And he's not only giving her one, he's sharing them equally, how nice. Now there's still more left, so we need to give another one to Renee. So Renee gets another one, cross it off. So right now they both have two and there's still two stickers left. So the next sticker is going to go to Mark. Cross it off. And the last sticker is going to go to Renee. Cross it off. So we used all the stickers. So how many stickers do both Mark and Renee get? They both get Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We did. We shared them equally. Now, last thing, and then we'll be all done, and your mommy can help you with the rest of this worksheet. Let's look down here. We need to write the correct symbol in there. Greater than, less than, or equal to. Three and nine. What number is the alligator going to want to eat? Who's bigger, three or nine? The number nine. So I need to start by the nine. I'm gonna go back to the three and then go back to the nine because my alligator is gonna to wanna to eat the number nine. And then we read it like this. Three is less than nine. Say that with me, ready, go. Three is less than nine. Okay, now I want you to look here. Eight and two. Who's bigger, eight or two? It is the eight. So our alligator is going to start by the eight. So we go back to the number two and then go back to eight. And then we say it like this. Eight is greater than two. Say that with me. Ready? Go. Eight is greater than two. It is. Eight is bigger than two. Now look at this one. Twenty-five and Twenty-five. A two and a five make twenty-five. So these are both twenty-five. So what sign do I need? Equals. They're both the same. So I need to make an equal sign in there. Awesome. 
your mommy can help you with the rest. Um, and I hope you had fun watching me divide candies equally. And I will see you tomorrow for math. Have a good night. Do you feel a listener for mommy? I love you.